What's up guys, Parker here. I want to share with you a really cool trick on how to filter a visual based on a slicer different from the slicer that you made a selection on. And that's really confusing and a huge mouthful. So let me go ahead and dive into the demo to show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we have a slicer on the left side that basically has country names. I've selected Bulgaria, but you can see in my map that it's actually showing all of Europe. So that's kind of what I'm trying to accomplish here. As I select a specific country, I want to filter the map based on a different scope, based on the scope of continent. So as we switch to Chile, you see that all of South America is showing. So it's an entirely different scope than the slicer that I'm selecting. And you can see that we have a chiclet slicer up on top that is actually being used to filter based on the scope that we want. So let me go ahead and show you how the default functionality works. And then I'll show you how we would build this out. And it's pretty quick. So default, we would edit this interaction and make sure that this map can be edited by this slicer. And as you would click on a different country, let's go back to Chile, you see that only Chile is showing. Um, and that's not exactly what we want. We want to show the entire continent based on one selection. So the way we do that is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this chiclet slicer. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this other slicer over here so we can start from scratch. So now it's showing all of our data unfiltered. So as I create a new normal slicer with country name, you can see we have the same list of countries that we just had. So as we select Argentina, it zooms in on just Argentina. Um, so we're going to go and firstly edit this interaction to where our slicer is not affecting the map visual. Next, we need to create a chiclet slicer with our continent name because continent is the scope that we want uh, to show in our map visual. Uh, so there are a couple things we have to do to the chiclet slicer to make it work correctly. We need to firstly turn off multiple selection and turn on force selection. Force selection is important, as you see, because it automatically selects uh, the value that's in the slicer so that it automatically filters the map to what you've selected. Lastly, we need to edit the interaction between the chiclet slicer and the normal slicer and make sure that our chiclet slicer does not edit um, the interaction with uh, the countries. Because no matter what's selected in the chiclet, we want to show all of the country values so we can switch. So as we click on Estonia, it shows us Europe instead of just Estonia. Or as we click on uh, Bahamas, it switches to North America. So this is a really cool trick. Taking it one step further, we can do this with a sort of sync slicer uh, functionality. That's originally what the request from my client was asking for. He was asking on how to select something on one tab and have it filter something on another tab, but on a different scope. So that's what we're gonna to try to accomplish here today. So in order to do that, we are going to create a new tab and I'm going to copy and paste this same uh, map here. Let me grab the map. We're gonna paste this on page two. And once we paste that on page two, we can grab our slicer over here. We're gonna throw that on, we're gonna sync it. Uh, once we synced it, we need to make sure that there is no interaction between this. And lastly, let's go ahead and grab the chiclet slicer. Awesome. So now this slicer is synced to the same slicer on page two. So as we go or on page one, so as we go on page one and we select something like Belize. Oh, sorry, I made one mistake. We need to make sure that the chiclet slicer on this page does not interact with this slicer. There we go. So now as we go to something like uh, Bosnia and it shows us Europe on page two, it shows us Europe as well. Uh, finally, in order to make this a true sync slicer, we can go ahead and hide this. So on our sync slicer pane, let's go ahead and go to page one click on our slicer and on page two we don't need to make it visible um, just because we kind of want it to act seamlessly so as we still select australia on page two it'll still zoom to australia and one thing to note is you can't hide this chicken slicer if you want to work you can make it as small as you want it's still there and it's still working um, but you can hide it 
make it smaller in case you don't actually want to see it on that second page. So as we go back to Belize, and it shows us North America, our second page shows us North America as well. So you still have that sync slicer functionality. So this is a really specific use case, but it is really handy in case you come across uh, the need to do something like this, where you want to filter based on something, uh, but show uh, another result based on a different scope. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.